Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have our first point release update for Microsoft Edge version 110. And as I did post on, version 110 is the latest stable release and was rolled out last week. Now, um, to ch double check if you have this update, as always, we just head to the menu, help about Microsoft Edge. And after this update has been applied, the version and build is 110.0.1587.46. And it's just a point release been bumped up from 0.41 to 0.46. And once again, this is a maintenance update, which is quite common uh, for Microsoft to roll out between major version upgrades. And um, Microsoft does mention that they once again have fixed various bugs and performance issues. So as always, if you have experienced any problems since upgrading to version 110, just make sure you double check you have this update sooner than later. Now over and above that, this is actually quite an important update. And it actually includes three different aspects to this update. We first get our maintenance update. And then as I did post yesterday, um, if you are using Windows 10, Microsoft um, permanently started permanently disabling Internet Explorer 11 on the 14th of February. And I did post on that yesterday, and I'll leave a link to that video in the description. So if you are using um, Internet Explorer and Edge on uh, uh, Windows 10, then this point release update will actually start disabling Internet Explorer permanently on Windows 10 devices. So this is quite an important update in that aspect. So um, what's going to happen after this update has been applied for Microsoft Edge? Uh, if you do head over to Internet Explorer and try to use the browser, it will direct, direct you now uh, straight over to the Edge web browser. And as I did mention in that video yesterday, your bookmarks, favorites, and so on will be um, migrated over and all your data will be migrated over to Microsoft Edge automatically if you were using Internet Explorer. So that's the second phase of this update. And then the third uh, is this update also starts making the new drop feature, Microsoft Edge Drop, more widely available. Now, as I did mention last week when um, version 110 did roll out, um, we were expecting to see a new drop feature being made available, which at that stage was on a controlled rollout. So if you head to your settings appearance page now, you see we get the new drop. So this is now becoming more widely available after this point release update. And it's also still on a controlled rollout. I've only seen it on my Windows 11 device and not Windows 10 at this stage. And what it does, it places a drop shortcut uh, in the toolbar. And another um, location where you can actually enable and use drop is in the menu, more tools, and you'll see it in the more tools overflow menu as well. Now, um, drop, just to do a quick recap, is a feature um, that is synced between Microsoft Edge if you are signed in to your different devices with the same account. And I have posted on Drop quite uh, in depth. So if you want more info, just do a search on the channel. But just to do a quick recap for today, uh, you can, using OneDrive and Edge, you can send your files and notes across your different devices using Drop. Yeah, you can also write your different notes and send those. That will also sync up. And you can also drag and drop files and images here. Yeah, and you can select those, and those will also sync up to OneDrive, and you can access those uh, between your different devices using the Drop feature. Now, the only difference between Drop and what I have seen with the same feature in Edge Canary, which is a preview version, is that now in the stable version, um, unlike Edge Canary, it's not one of the productivity tools that's found in the sidebar, which I thought it would roll out as, and it's not. So you won't find Drop um, like you do in the preview versions in the sidebar, uh, it is a tool you'll get um, in the toolbar and also in the overflow more tools menu as mentioned. And that's using OneDrive to send files and notes uh, between your different devices if you are signed in with the same Microsoft account. So quite a lot going on in this latest point release update to Edge version 110.0.1587.46. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.